Well, as you might know, all this month, our Arkansas anchors have been taking you to their hometowns to show you what it was like growing up in the natural state. Last week, Melinda Mayo visited Pine Bluff. Two weeks ago, I was in Stuttgart, and tonight, it's time for Beth Hunt to take us to Carlisle. And I know she had fun doing this story. <laughs> I did. We went back to the Grand Prairie for this <laughs> one for sure. Well, Carlisle is one of those small towns where everyone knows everyone. It's a farming community with a rich sports history, and the motto is always go bison go. miles east of Little Rock, right off Interstate 40, you'll find the best small town in the state. At least I think so. There are rice and bean fields as far as the eye can see and crop dusters circling above. This is an agricultural community. A lot of it is row crop type agriculture that you see and, and with that, kids in this community, they get to grow up you know, working from, from a young age with their dads, with their granddads. This is my hometown, and the people here, my family. Right here is where my buddy Todd used to pick me up every morning to go to school, you know. So just all kinds of memories come back just sitting here, you know. That's my older brother, Brandon, and this is the house we grew up in on William Street. What was it like growing up with me? <laughs> she knew what buttons to push to get what she wanted, let's just say that. <laughs> we'll just have to agree to disagree about that, but what we can agree on is that growing up in this small community afforded us a childhood that many don't get to experience. You know, you can leave out of here at in the morning on your bicycle and ride anywhere in town and not worry about, or your parents not worry about where you are, what's going on, they know you're safe, and just having that freedom to go have fun and be a kid all over town, and I mean, I think that was great. Just down the street from our old house is downtown, and among the storefront windows, you'll find Ray's Barber Shop. Inside, an old barber's pole is still spinning, but it's not nearly as colorful as the man holding the clippers. Carlisle is, is just an outstanding place to live. If you got a little girl especially, you want to live in Carlisle because might grow up to be like Beth Hunt. See what I mean? Ray Glover has been cutting hair in this town for more than four decades. So who better to represent the people here than a man who talks one-on-one -on -one with them every day? Mr. Ray decided to run for mayor a few years back and won. I think there's some really big times in store for Carlisle in the future. We have a brand new high school. We just built a $12 million high school, and uh, everybody rallies around the school and the kids. That new high school is nothing like the high school I went to. This is the old building. The bison mascot still standing, along with the class of 1995 sidewalk, where all of my classmates' names are engraved. Many fond memories here, but some I would also like to forget. The hair, for instance, out of control. And just when you thought it couldn't get any bigger or any frizzier, it did. From cheerleading to homecoming, we had teasing bangs down to an art. Hello, how are you? My high school English and journalism teacher, Miss Debbie Harrison, who's taught here for 28 years, probably remembers some of that bad hair. You were so quiet. You sat in the back of the room. I remember that you later on told me something about going into oral communication and into broadcast, and I thought, she can't do that. She never opened her mouth in front of a group. I knew you were competent to do the research because you did so well in the writing and documentation. But I thought she'll never make it when she talks in front of a group. But you have overcome it. You've done a wonderful job. In 2007, Carlisle voters approved a millage increase to help build this dream. We wouldn't have this school if we didn't have the backing of this town. And Carlisle has always had such an awesome backing from the community. After a quick pickup game with junior high students in the new Bison Arena, we toured the rest of the building, including a state-of-the-art computer lab, art classroom. Oh, it would take forever. Yeah, it looks good, though. Awesome job. High five. And 
home ec room where students were learning how to make pizza. What do you think about home ec class? A very high percentage of students who graduate from here go on to college. They're leading the way in the classroom and on the field. Go Bison is the thing around here. Carlisle is known for its successful athletics program, especially football. This town thrives on fall and the football season, and, you know, it's just huge to this community. Carlisle has produced countless college athletes, including former Razorback Mitch Petras, who now plays for the Super Bowl champs, the New York Giants. You'll find his picture on the wall at the barber shop and also at Nick's Barbecue. He's a big man. He needs a lot of food. Mitch is known to frequent the well-known restaurant like many others and even has his own item on the menu. Uh, he has a special uh, barbecue nacho that he orders where it's basically we put everything but the kitchen sink on it and we just know it is the Mitch that's sort of our code name for it you can't really pass through town without stopping here Nix has been serving up barbecue and catfish since 1972 and has seen a lot of familiar faces over the years you've made the wall of course um, a lot of uh, country stars athletes fish. this place is hopping no matter what time of day you come farmers stop in for lunch and so do people traveling down the interstate well, the most popular item on our menu is um, our ribs and catfish combo. It is the two things we do the best um, together in one plate. Nix has plans to double the size of the restaurant thanks in part to support from the community. They say home is where the heart is and that's certainly true for me. I love everything about Carlisle, even the occasional mosquito, but it's the people here who truly make it special. We have had people say it's so, it's so friendly. If you don't believe me, just stop by for a visit. And Scott Inman said, occasional mosquitoes. <laughs> so, yeah. I should mention the Carlisle baseball team will be playing for a state championship this weekend, so good luck to them. Also, I couldn't go by Nick's and leave you guys out, so we're happy to have all this food here, thanks it's, to Nick. It's well, like my hometown meets Pam's Pits. It is, we're and I'm okay it. with that, aren't you? <laughs> Me too, yeah. Yeah. absolutely. The clock, this is great. So this is going to be fun for us tonight, and I had to show you guys one last picture. Please because do, I, mentioned, I love it. You know, the bad pictures on air. Wow. Here you go. How about that? When, the hair's yeah. not big there. Nobody in the newsroom what believed happened? this was me. It was just a bad haircut. And my <laughs> five-year-old seriously said to me, Mama, when were you a boy? <laughs> so I had to share this with everybody. So Beautiful oh. smile yes. still. Yes. Look at that. I had a lot of fun sifting through pictures for this story. So. Wasn't yeah. it a lot of fun? It really was. Yeah. yeah. And it's great to be from small town Arkansas. I think yeah. you're right. You're right. Yeah. We grew up not too far from one another. Yeah. So. We didn't have this place. Well, listen, you can Let stop by you. anytime you want. I'm headed there. Okay. Are they open late? Can I go after the show? I'm sure they'd let you in. <laughs> they may be tonight. You might even get your picture on the wall. Yeah, you got your picture on the wall yeah. with, the, with the athletes and just famous country singers. Listen, just go by there. You can have the same. <laughs> yeah, there right. you go. Well, let me tell you.